this is the bitter leaf see how tall it is you know it's a natural gift from God and it comes with a lot of advantages your catfish can really really benefit from this if you use them wisely and use them very very well so very quickly bitter leaf as we already know it's a natural gift from God you know God actually is the maker of bitter leaf and he's also the doctor that embedded all the different uh, antibodies antibacterials and anti whatsoever it can do now bitter leaf as a natural gift from God is antibacterial I'm about to list the different advantages you can actually benefit from bitter leaf both as human beings as as well uh, a fish farmer number one is antibacterial antibacterial in the sense that it fights against any form of bacteria in the human body in your pond in your tank just name them number two it is also anti-malaria oh yes it is anti-malaria any form of plasmodium as a result of mosquito bite as a result of mosquito depositing plasmodium on your pond or your tank it has a way of also fighting against that that is why it is called anti-malaria it is also anti-cancer oh yes it fights against cancerous cells oh yes very very important that's one of the most adv uh, beneficial advantages you know fine fish may not suffer from cancer but human beings do suffer from cancer so if you consume bitter leaf on a regular basis it has a long way of relieving you from cancerous cells in your body and then also it is anti-diabetics you know diabetes of course excess sugar in your body system and all that it fights seriously against that it is also anti-parasitic yes anti-parasitic in the sense that it fights against parasites in the human body in the fish in the tank in the pond just name them it is also rich in antioxidants oh yes when you talk about antioxidants you talk about uh, um, um, how do I explain antioxidants now now the best way I can explain antioxidants you know from the word oxidation you know oxidation actually is a, a reaction that is not healthy for any living organism so it is antioxidant antioxidant in the sense that it fights against oxidation now one may wonder what actually is oxidation oxidation is actually a chemical reaction that leads to um, the formation of free radicals in a particular organism or in a particular uh, uh, um, uh, living thing as so to say <clears throat> it leads sorry about that it leads to the formation of free radicals when you talk about free radicals free radicals are simply uh, the formation of unstable atoms from the word free radicals they are free they are unstable unstable atoms now these unstable atoms in turn brings about aging in the organism they find themselves in that brings about the uh, death of the cells you know it also brings about um, um, illness of the organism it finds itself and that is one of the reasons why fish usually suffer from a lot of sickness and then they die in your tank in your pond and you don't know what is actually going on now it's as a, most of them is as a result of oxidation and of course this oxidation can be avoided through bitter leaf water oh yes bitter leaf is a very very good remedy for oxidation and that is why we say that bitter leaf is antioxidant in fact very rich in antioxidants when you talk about antioxidants there are different fruits that can be antioxidants you know now the very first fruit you can talk about as being antioxidants you talk about garlic you talk about onions you talk about pepper fresh pepper you talk about tomatoes you talk about uh, apples you talk about lemon you know name them vitamin c vitamin e selenium you know these are different forms of antioxidants and they go a long way to fight against oxidation that brings about aging death sickness in living organisms and then also it is a remedy for constipation you know yes bitter leaf is a very very good remedy for constipation it is also a remedy for dysentery and then it is also a remedy for um, uh, not really a remedy in this case now but it goes a long way to regulate the amount of uh, cholesterol in the human system that is bitter leaf water for you you can see how beneficial these leaves can be so without wasting much time i need very few of it so that i can treat my thank 
because I have up to five different tanks I may need quite a lot but I will harvest the much I can and take them to my tank then I will show you how exactly one can use them to fight against sickness in your fish tank or your fish pond as the case may be